Hello Year 5 and welcome to Maths. Um, the first thing that I would like you to do is to make sure that you have everything that we need for this lesson. So please make sure that you have a pencil. Um, if you have printed the worksheet, that's fantastic. If you don't have a printer, that's OK. But please make sure that you have paper. Um, squared is preferable. If not, then lined or plain paper is also fine too. Pause the video whilst you get that and then start it again. Right, so now we are ready. We are going to be learning how to calculate the area of squares, triangles and rectilinear shapes. Rectilinear shapes are shapes made with straight lines. First thing that I'd like you to do is to cast your mind back before uh, the holiday and how to calculate the perimeter of a shape. I'd like you to calculate the perimeter of these two shapes, please. Pause the video whilst you do that and then start it again when you have finished. Fantastic. So these are the answers. 16 centimetres, uh, 16 centimetres for the first shape and 22 centimetres for the second shape. Right, so we're going to crack on. What is perimeter? Let's just remind ourselves. What is perimeter? Okay, it's the distance around the shape's boundary. So what's the perimeter of this shape and what is this shape? So we have the outline of this shape here. Yes, you're right, it is a square. And we know that a square has how many equal sides? Great, four equal sides. So if this side is four centimeters, then this and this and these sides are also four. So the perimeter of this shape is four times four, or four plus four plus four plus four, which is 16 centimetres. Well done. Can you calculate the perimeter of this shape? It should be nice and easy. Shout out the answer when you know. Excellent. That's six centimetres. Six plus six equals 12. One plus one equals 14 centimetres. Brilliant. Now, what is area? Area is the total space inside of a shape. So we now have this, which is the perimeter, but the area is all of the bits inside it. Okay, so it's the bits that I'm shading here. Okay, quite badly. Sorry about that. I'm trying to be quite quick. Now, there are several ways that we're going to calculate area. Uh, we're going to do it one of two ways today. Um, first of all, we are going to count the individual squares. And we're going to do this by putting a dot in the square when we've completed it. So let's do that together. Uh, count along with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So the area of this shape is 20 squares. Great counting. Okay, let's move on. So we're going to find the area of each shape below. Let's see, what is the area of this shape? Shout out the answer when you know. Brilliant. One, two, three, four. Four squares. You're absolutely right. And what about this one? Good job, yeah. One, two, three, four. Four squares again. Slightly larger shape. Let's see if you can do this one. Okay, shout it out. Let's see if you're right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. And finally, this one. Shout it out. Good. Don't forget your measurement. Excellent. See? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Great counting, yeah, five. Okay, now let's take a look at this. You notice that in the first examples, we were counting squares. They didn't really have measurements. However, here, 
we do. Now, we can put dots in them as we did before, so let's do that together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So I'm going to one squares because that's the area. And that's one way of counting. However, there's a different way. Let's take let's take a look at how many columns there are. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven columns and we have one, two, three rows. Now, one thing we could do was, is multiply the number of columns by the number of rows. Seven times three equals Pleased to see that you haven't forgotten your times tables. Year five, well done. 21 squares. So that's just another strategy that we can use to calculate area. Um, yeah. Multiply number of rows by the number of columns. Um, and if it has a measurement, then we write a very, very small two. Now here it's not squares because we have centimetres. So we can actually write 21 centimetre squared, okay? So please make note that it's not this, okay? Because you can see that the two is the same size as the C and the M. The, your two has to be much smaller, okay? And it's sort of hanging in the air. Okay, teeny tiny two. Right, let's move on. So let's see, you can choose to either count the squares or multiply the column by the rows. So we have measurements here, we have centimetres, so we're going to remember to use our um, centimetre squared. Our first step is to count the squares if you're going to count them, and if you do, please place a dot in the middle of them. OK, also remember to use your centimetre squared or if you prefer, you can multiply the number of rows by the number of columns. And again, remember to use centimetre squared. Let's calculate the first one. I'll give you a moment. Good. Let's do seven times two equals 14 centimeter squared or we can count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and we know again that it's 14 centimeter squared hmm this only has one side how do you know what the length of this side will be tell me well remembered, it's a square, so every side is equal, therefore this is three centimetres. And we can calculate it either by counting the squares, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine centimetres squared, or we could do three times three equals nine. And again, we have the same answer. Hmm, now let's take a look at this. So we have one square here, but it's been divided into two shapes, two triangles. How much of this shape is shaded? Tell me. Right, you're absolutely right. Half. Half of the square is shaded. Now we can say half, and we can also write it with a decimal. And the way that we write it is like this. 0.5. OK, so let's count these shapes. Well, let's count the area of these shapes. First of all, count all the squares, count all the halves. So we have, I know that two triangles equals one equals one square. So this is one. I'm going to put a dot because I've counted. And then that's one and a half or 1.5 and that's Two. So this is two squares, has an area of two squares. 
Great, what about this one? Shout it out. Well remembered, two triangles is equal to one square. Hmm, what about this one? Great, that's one, one and a half or good, 1.5 and that's two squares. Okay, what about this one? Well done. I'm just going to break it down. So this is one square. That's two squares. That's three squares. We have two triangles here, so that's four squares. And then we have half a triangle. How do we write half again as a decimal? Good job. So that's 4.5 squares. Right. Now, those are quite simple, but what happens if we have rectilinear shapes like this? I'm going to show you one strategy. Um, and there are different ways that we can broach it. So for, let's take a look at our steps of success. The first thing we have to do is to find rectangles and count the area of the rectangle. Don't forget that we've got to place a dot in the middle of the square once we've counted it. Once we've counted all of the rectangles that have been found, we then count the remaining whole and half squares. Sorry. Um, next, we're going to write the unit of measurement with a small two. Here we don't have um, centimetres, so we're just going to write squares, but don't forget if we do have centimetres to write the small squared. So, first of all, I'm going to take a look at the shape and I'm going to find a rectangle. So we have this one. That's my first rectangle. And I'm going to count the area of that rectangle and it's one, two, three, four. So I'm going to write that there. Next, I'm going to find another rectangle. So here, that's one, two. I'm going to add it. And then I have another rectangle here, one, two. I'm going to add that. Now I'm going to take a look at the rest of the triangles that are left. So I know that that's one, that's two, we have three, and we have four. Great. So I know that four plus two equals six, plus two equals eight, plus four equals 12. So I know that the area of this rectilinear shape is 12 squares. But perhaps you didn't see those rectangles. Perhaps what you saw was this rectangle. And that's OK, too. So let's count that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six. Now I have one whole square here and one whole square here. So that's two. And now I have these two triangles, which I know add to one. These two triangles, so that's two, three, and four. So I'm going to add four. And I know that six plus two equals eight, plus four equals 12. And I can see that actually the area is exactly the same. I've just calculated it in a different way, okay? So what I would like you to do is if you have printed out your worksheet to complete use now and just write the area below or on the side um, using squares. Um, and if you don't, just take some time now to calculate it. Uh, pause the video so that you have time to do it. And then when you finish, unpause it. Great. 
Well done. So I'll look at your work on Seesaw. Please be sure to upload it um, as soon as possible today um, and we'll take a look at that together. OK, next. Here we have more rectilinear shapes. Here is our, here are our steps to success. So the first thing that we need to do is find the rectangles and count the area. We're going to place a dot in the middle once we've counted it. Um, once all rectangles have been found, count remaining whole and half squares. And remember to write the unit of measurement with small centimeter squared if you have a measurement. OK, so let's take a look at these, these, uh, this shape. Now, this shape, they're exactly the same. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to first find different rectangles to count. So here is one. And then this is another. So let me count the area of this one first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve plus one, two, three, four. Okay, twelve plus four equals sixteen. Lovely. But again, perhaps you didn't see those two shapes. Perhaps what you saw were was this rectangle and then maybe this rectangle and let's count the area so one two three four five six the first rectangle and then one two three four five six seven eight nine good job ten so the area of that is 16, good. Dearie me, I forgot my unit of measurement. Okay. We can see that although we actually counted different rectangles, the area was still the same. So let's take a look at this one. I'm going to put the steps of success here. Let's see, what's the first, what's the first step that we need to do? Tell me. Great, yes, we need to find all the different rectangles. So here's the first one. And then here's our second one. Well done. What must I do once I've counted it? You're absolutely right. I need to place a dot in the middle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What's the area of the second rectangle? Let's see if you're right. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. So the area is 19 squares. Fantastic. Hmm, what about this one? So it looks a little bit like the Loch Ness Monster. So let's take a look at our steps of success. The first step is what? Good. Find rectangles. So that's one. That's another one. And this is a third one. Did you find the same or did you find different ones? Mm, yeah, that's OK. As you can find different ones as long as you count them accurately. Yeah, that's fine. What do we have to do when we count each square? Remind me. Excellent. So one. The second rectangle, one, two, three, four, five plus five and with our third rectangle one two three four five six great and what's the area of this shape 
Brilliant. 12 squares. Okay. Let's take a look at this one. Okay. So the first step to success is find the rectangles. One, two, three. Okay. What must I do when I've counted the squares? Well remembered, I'm going to put a dot in the middle. So that's the first one, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. I know that six plus 14 is 20, plus three equals 23. Is that the right answer? Mm, I think I've forgotten something. Is it 23 bananas? 23 chairs? 23 Christmas presents? No. 23 squares. You're right. Don't forget that unit of measurement. Great. Okay. I think you know that quite well, but I'd like you now to take a look at this because we're going to use a different strategy to um, calculate area. Using subtraction, we're going to calculate area. So if I take a look at this shape, if the shape is a rectangle or square, calculate the area by either counting squares or multiplying sides. So I'm looking at the shape and actually what I can see is a kind of rectangle. I can see that it has one, two, three, four, it has five columns and it also has one, two, three, four rows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the number of columns that it has, five, by the number of rows that it has, which is four. Five times four equals, good job, 20. Now, it's not a full rectangle, is it? It's missing some squares. How many squares is it missing? One, two, it's missing two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract two from 20 and that will give us the number um, of squares, the area. I'm going to double check this though, just by counting the squares. So one, count with me, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 and that's right that's 18 what's the measurement well remembered squares good okay let's see okay Right, let's take a look at this. How many columns does this shape have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And how many rows does it have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply seven times six equals and we're going to use our times tables to calculate it if you don't know your times tables what can you do absolutely you can write your times tables on the side i know my times tables so i'm going to count them out 7 14 21 28 35 42 so that's 42 however this isn't a rectangle because i'm missing how many squares you're right, two squares. And what do I need to do? Good, I need to take my 42 and I need to subtract those two squares. So actually the area is 40 
squares. Good job. Okay. Let's try it again. What do I need to do first? Good, I need to count how many columns? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six columns. Then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows. Seven times six equals, fortunately we cheated because we've got exactly the same calculation above. So we know that that is 42. And how many squares are missing from this rectangle? One, two. Hmm. What do we need to do? Tell me. Good, we need to take the number of squares that are missing away from our answer. So 42 take away 2 equals 40 squares. Well done. What about this one? I'm not going to say anything. See if you can write it down. Pause the video and see if you get the right answer. Right, have you done it? Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six columns. One, two, three, four, five rows. Six times five, everybody equals 30. Well done. How many squares are missing? One, two, 30. Take away two equals, good, 28. Right, what about this one? No, it's a little bit dark. It's a bit tricky to see the squares. Again, pause it to calculate it yourself. Unpause it when you have the answer. All right, let's check and see. One, two, three, four. And how many rows do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times four equals seven, 14, 21, 28. How many squares are missing? One, 28, take away one equals 27 squares. Oh my goodness. Mm, you're right, thank you for reminding me. Great job. Okay, let's do this final one. Try and calculate it by yourself. Pause the video. Let's see if you're right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five times six equals, good, 30. How many squares are we missing? Good, so 30, good. Take away two equals 28 squares. Well done. OK, so now I would like you to continue with your independent task and when you have finished, please be sure to upload it onto Seesaw. I look forward to um, seeing it soon. And once you finish that, perhaps you can complete this plenary. Have a good day, guys. Bye.